Hello everyone, this is Michael Duncan Foster again, and I am in Mortonville right now, and guess where I am? I'm right by a caboose, which you know I like trains, and I, so I get to stand on the caboose. Woo! There we go. That's much better. So now I'm on the com a caboose. That's awesome, because I've never stood on the end of the caboose. I've actually never even taken a train ride, isn't that, besides a Disneyland, but not a real train ride. Isn't that a shame? And I love trains so much. Um, Mortonville is a nice, quiet little town. It is, and that's the train station there. Unfortunately, it has had its better days in the past. Once, it probably was a real thriving little town. Um, but... Uh, you know what happened here? It's so quiet now, and all the business, not very many businesses on Main Street anymore. But that's because all the mom and pop stores, all the family businesses, if you look here, we got Brian's Glass and Mirror, which is a Bell Bonds place now. This one's empty, that one's empty. Uh, they're all pretty much empty, you know? And it's because of big corporate stores like Walmart, unfortunately. I hate to say it. But now we're getting um, disposable items, things that don't last, but they're cheaper. Instead of getting, instead of back when we actually got things, quality things, we knew the person who actually we bought the we bought that item from, whether it was a vacuum cleaner, or it was a, uh, or if it was jewelry, or if it was uh, you, you know, even a haircut, because now they got super clips and stuff. But I, I mean. You know, unfortunately, it's not it's not like that anymore. If you went into a bank, you know, you knew the person at the bank. You know, they helped you out. It was more of a it was more of a personal thing. Now, now it's all corporate. No one helps out anything. Everybody's cut off. You're not you're not good. Oh, look at here. Awesome. Awesome. I didn't know this, but we got a train. I'm going to run up here to it. <laughs> what timing God's timing is perfect I swear I'll tell you a little bit more about that later here's the train right here let's enjoy this Let's see here. Lewisburg in the Civil War. During the Civil War, First Confederate Union later included uh, 17th Arkansas Infantry, 1861, 38th 
Arkansas Infantry fought around Lewisburg in 1864. During the Civil War, Conway County population was 3,000. 900 men from this county fought in the war with only 200 returning. Oh my goodness, that's 700 men died in that war, 200 only returned. Uh, Louisville still had a population of 1,000 in 1880, but little remains today. And you can see, look, how it is. That's how it used to be. God bless the people who fought in that war. God bless them. Uh, the Southern Cross of Honor, a military decoration meant to honor the officers, non-commissioned officers, privates for their valor and armed forces of the Confederate States. During the American Civil War, it was formally approved by Congress of the Confederate States, October 13, 1862, intended to be on par with the Union's Ar Army Medal of Honor, designed to face of the medal consist of a cross with a confederate battle flag surrounded with a laurel wreath in the inscription the southern cross of honor on the back of the medal is the motto of the confederate state of america devo vindice uh, with god as our vindicator and the date is 1861 1865 there you go that's the medal of honor for their time god bless you guys Okay, guys, that was awesome. I hope I can download this six-minute video, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Peace and love to the world and to all the military people out there who fought and didn't come back. God bless you.